Yeah, here I am, here I am, here I am, here I am, here I am. I've got my notes right here. After the success with my beautiful club that I support, Grimsby Town, building them all the way back up to the Premier League title, I have now gladly accepted an offer as PSG manager. Although it just says Paris FC on here. I'm guessing that's a typo? Surely there's not a Paris FC, is there? As that was a really bad intro, but welcome back guys to the FIFA 21 Paris FC career mode. Episode 1 of season number 1. I have a shave, have a haircut, all ready for this. As of course, we've done a big rebuild series on the channel this year already. Grimsby, very successful, so we'll go to a team I know nothing about. I know they've got their little shadow that they live in under PSG, the big team, but we are going to try and overtake them in this save towards the end of the year. We've got our manager with a bit of Paris flair, wearing the full navy suit, the spotted tie and the little goatee, as let's try and do what we can do with Paris FC. As you can see, they are located in the second division of France. Four million is their budget in, of course, Paris. The kits aren't too jazzy, not as jazzy as you really expect, as the domestic success is high, continental very low, brand very low, financial very low, and youth development just low. So let's take over these, see what we can do. I'm gonna put strict transfers on as well. You do, you just love to see it harder. Love making the game harder for myself, as I think they've got the stadium in game. I'm not very too sure on that. Don't write anything down after I've just said that, as let's see what us team was like. Let's see what signings we can make, as I have nothing about this league. No knowledge at all, as which shall we take as our international tournament. That gets you the most money. And I think with the road to glory, you've got to go for the most money. So we'll go on this one. I think it's in Holland, was it? As I don't know anything about this team. It just won the vote by literally about two votes. It was a landslide, of course, on the community tab. But I said I would count comments, and I did count comments. And there was just enough for this. So let's have a look at the team. Not high ratings, I've got to say. We've got a name there. <laughs> literally just name. We've got Kante. We've got Bamba at the back. We've got a Lopez, Gapka, Caddy, Hanin. Uh, Belaud, Lara, and this keeper who's called Demaconai. It's going to be hard to say. We're going to have to get this team sorted out. We've got Gilavogi right there. We've got Hadjam, Gambor, Kamara, teams, or should I say names that I don't have a clue. And I think I've still got to sign a lot of players in this first year. Not as low as Grimsby's ratings were when we took over them, but... I don't think we're going to win the league with this team. As for any players out on loan, which I don't know about, not really. There's a lot of crucial players in this team. Gee, but we've got 170 rated. And yeah, no one out on loan in the entire squad. So at least we've got all those players right here. We can get some out on loan. And of course, maybe bring some in from League 1 as we've got um, the scouts already out. Probably not the best of scouts at this moment in time. Not much money at all. As we'll look at the objectives, just 5 million to spend as they want us to sign two players younger than 20. Sign so one academy player who's a defender. Brand exposure, 10 clean sheets. That's pretty hard for a very low um, success thing. Of course, nothing in Continental. Domestic fight for promotion and reach the round of 16 in the Coupe Nationale with sign so one crucial player and make a profit of 2.7 million. Maybe hard to make the profit. But of course, we do have our U staff. Oh, and we've already got one right here. So we'll set him up somewhere. Didn't know we had already one right there. So we'll set him up in front and we will see... Have they brought any more players in at the start of this? They have. Lee Collin, who's got great potential and all. Oh, I love buying Ultimate Edition. We have got ourselves a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little academy player who can come straight into the team. Leo Collin, 17-year-old, 69 rated. I know you guys might be fed up with these big, big players coming through the academy, but I'm not. And in a road to glow, it's always nice to have one player who follows you all the way. So... Leo Collin, a French player, centre-back slash centre-back, get into the squad. What an addition that is, as the other three players just look absolutely naff. So we have sent a scout out already. Maybe we sell Leo Collin on straight away. Of course, we had Harper. We made that, well, I'd say mistake, so we had to buy him back for 100 million in the um, Grimsby Town safe. We've had Blake Cole with Arsenal. We've had Hammond with West Ham United, as I will go ahead and get Colin straight on onto the bench for now. Diande, sorry, I'm never going to get to see you play as Bamba does have a crucial team role, but he has to come out, doesn't he? So we can get that guy in at right centre-back. And at the moment, it looks like we need a right winger and a striker, really. He's got pace as that Lafario, who I don't have a clue who he is. I don't even know if that's his name. Laurio or Laria. 
We don't know anything about him, so I think I do want to replace him. And also, whilst I'm putting um, players on, the team looks relatively young, apart from the goalkeeper, Damaka and I. So I've got to keep his eye on that 69 rated, but will, of course, maybe be retiring soon. Got another good one here, Hadjam. He's 17-year-old, 61 rated. I'm looking at the squad on the whole. He's very, very, very young. Younger than I expected, so... Unlike the Grimsby save, where our players were mostly on the way out, we've got a lot of players on their way in, as hopefully you guys can see this, my head in, in the way. We've got, I think they're on the reserves though at the moment in time. We've got Hadjamu, 17, Gambor, 17, Kamaru, 17, Chagui's 20, Arabs, 19. We've got Coffee, who's like 20, I think. Gilavogi, 19. We set for the future. And as I'm looking at all these young players, I think I found a formation that would actually get them all into the team straight away. So yes, it takes a lot of high rate of players out, but it'll make the rebuild interesting. It will make players we sign more interesting. We're going to try and get a little bit of a younger squad in here. So five at the back, all our defenders are literally so young. We've got 21-year-old Campanini. We've got Kante, who's 30, but is the stalwart at the back with Colin, 17. Bamba, 19 or 20, is it? Uh, yeah, he's 20. And Hanin, who is 17 on this side. Or that even, no, Hanin isn't. He's 30. Hadjam on the bench. He's 17. We've got Mad Manduki, who's going to retire soon, but the captain. We've got Niam, who's 25. And then Gapko's 26, but Arab's on the bench, who's 18 and 19. We've got Lara in the team, who's 24. And then this guy, Diabafagia, who's um, 19. And he's, I might just call him Da Baby, because look at the start of his name. Looks like Da Baby's just forming. <laughs> that was a weird sentence to say, but yeah, it's, it's just. It's just it's just my meme brain as let's go ahead and skip on a couple of days, shall we? See if we can get over this with pre-season, get it out of the way. I do like this badge as well for some reason. And then we will, of course, get into making signings. And that is, of course, the team that I've just shown you going into this first game as Lugano. Are these first Swiss? I think the Swiss, this first team at the Johan Cruyff Arena with a capital A at the end. As let's try and get a win against them. We've got Bauman in there. Hopefully that isn't a good Bauman, as it's a nil-nil draw after we got kind of dominated in the first game. I don't care, I don't care. It's pre-season. We've got a draw with his new players. It's probably going to be a longer drawn-out series than the West Ham United one, of course, because this is a challenge, but we love to see it. I also love just how I've made the manager look this year, as we're going to go with the same team into the next game, just because I can't be bothered to switch it, and of course... Players on the bench might get a transfer out as we've won the game as well. Gapka, after getting dominated by Nacional, the Portuguese team, we have won it. We're unbeaten. And I've sent my scouts on a huge scouting mission as we have one message in the office and it's about international management. Why don't they just give me a job right now with the job I'm doing in pre-season? We might already hit our profit margin. As of course, we do need to still sign a player as a crucial first team one as it's Luzon, the last team up. As the team is a little bit tired, but... Why not? Let's just go again, shall we? Go again, boys. And it's our first defeat. I shouldn't have gone again as Sorjic gets the goal for them. Kampanini gets injured and Sorjic actually gets a brace. And I don't like how I've got an injury. Maybe I did play a bit too comfortable as... Are we still in the competition? I would like it if we was because, of course, there's more money in it then. And we do need the money as we are. Sparta next up, who are a Dutch team. They'll be playing at home as we've got Campanini out for seven days. Our right back. Already learning the team, as you might have realised as well, they are not wing-backs, they are actually right-back and left-back, dragging them back a bit. So there's been three changes to this team for the next game. We have Balud at our left-back, we have Abdi as Hani moves in central for Bamba, and then Gapka's come off for Nomen Janahari. <laughs> oh my days. And of course, Arabs in the team, our youth player who I do want to focus on a little bit. So let's try and get the win, shall we, in the last game of pre-season before, of course, trying to make a decent little transfer because we do need a bit of dollar coming into this club. If we can beat this team, of course, Sparta Rotterdam, not bad, but they've beaten us on penalties. Damn it, and Arab missed, and Baloo, two players are brought into the team, missed the penalties. Are you joking me? And of course, not knowing the league and the teams around us and our players, I have not put any players up for transfer. I have not really looked at any players in our league to sign as how many teams have we got we've got 20 okay i don't really recognize any of them and i don't know why he's showing me the europa league that was a rather weird change as actually i do recognize some we've got toulouse in there we've got cayenne i haven't changed them of course from real life so i probably should have done that but oh well we've got ajaccio we've got amiens azurke has been up there recently troyes has uh, Gear Camp, I recognise. Chateau de Roo, I, I, I know them, but I can't really say them. Some teams I've never seen, like Pau FC, what a name. 
We've got uh, Dwenkwe. Okay, we've got Chambly. We've got Niot. Okay, okay, okay. Teams, that, of course, we've got to beat because we want promotion. Scrap that, actually. We want to win the league. I mean, I don't really know much about the league, but I want to win it. It's now pre-season's over. Let's try and get a transfer done, shall we? I've got two players on this list, both loan listed at their current clubs as Nigoy Nyamsa. We could probably get later on because we've got Nachambi. Camp... Campanini, not Kajambi, Campanini, and we've got this guy, Stefan Bajic, on loan from St. Etienne, a player I wanted to use if we would have picked St. Etienne, but of course we didn't, and can get him on loan. 18 year old, 63 rated, would want a loan to buy, but let's see what we can do. Of course, our keeper is heavily aging, so let's go for a loan to buy, please don't say no. They will accept, okay, that's good, that, that is very good, we'll go for a one year, so we've got time to see him out and see how he does. I've never done a loan to buy on this. 400 for the wage. That is perfect. What would the permanent transfer be? That's a bit much though for the young player. So 2% release uh, transfer clear. What is that? What am I about? Sell on clause onto it. We'll offer 500k. Will they accept that for Bajic? They want even more now and they're downgrading the sell on clause. Um, I'm going to have to say no. Let's just try and get him later on a normal deal. I'm being very stingy with money this year. I have put it on strict but it's not going to stop me. Only sign when Needle. And to be fair, we kind of do need to now, but I've got so many scouts out, it's unreal. So let's maybe try and find a striker. As I've just been checking, we've got six million in the bank now. I can't find one, but I have found a couple more decent players. Get him off straight away. We've got Pembele. Poor man's Dembele. We've got Gurner, who we tried to sign with West Ham. And then I said no, because he'd recently joined a club and I never went back to him. I'm going to keep him on the list for a while. We've got um, Ruiz Attil from the rivals, of course, like Pembele. These two are for loans, I think. And then we've got uh, Saudio Soho. I wouldn't mind getting on a permanent, but he's just joined St. Etienne as well. So I'm going to... Do you get that? So that's his name. We're going to go for Pembele first on loan if we can, as it's a rival club, isn't it? We can't get him from a rival club. I didn't know that. I thought, like, sometimes rivals actually let each other have players because I've seen the likes of London clubs like Chelsea and all that loaning players out to other London clubs, but the leagues below. So I think if we were leagues below and they wanted experience, they surely would have let him come. That's stupid, in my opinion, as we've got a four million offer. Oh, it's Cleo Collin. That's why. Damn it, I didn't look. But plus another player as well, a swap deal for Sal Zamora, who looks pretty decent as well as a youth player coming from. That's about five million on a plate there. But I am going to have to reject it. Of course, you know, I'm not making the same mistake I made with Harper and with Grimsby. So I'm going to make sure I keep him here. As I didn't even realise as well, we've got a bloody game on the 27th. When did this league season start? Oh, that's why it starts this month. I had no idea. 27th and 31st. I'm going to try and play this first game, save the next one, then we go into the month afterwards. Is there a cup game organised? Is that in January or is it not just organised yet? There's a cup game in January against the team that we play straight after them as well. So, getting a little bit tad excited for this save already. There's no, of course, graphic like the Premier League one. I think there is for League 1 when we get there, or League 1, as we will play this first game right now. Why not? We haven't made a signing yet. You guys suggest some signings down below and we will play this one. And for once, I'm not going to be swayed by ratings a lot. We're going to go with this team. After watching them all in pre-season, watching who did what and all that, looking at the uh, statistics after the game, because I do look at them even though I don't commentate over them because I'm writing them down and stuff, so it's not very interesting. This is the lineup I'm going to go with. We've got Demacone in goal. This is a chance to learn the names as well. Campanini's back in. Because, of course, um, Balu didn't play well in his only game he's played. We've got Kante, Colin and Bamba with Hanin at left back just over Hajam. With um, Hanku in the team. He's going to be captain. I'll switch him over in a second. With Name and Gapka just over Arab, who's on the bench, the youth player. Laro up front and Diafabiga. Oh, Diafabiga. To baby. Oh, and these are jazzy tunes coming out of this one. And oh, we do have graphics in game. They are very, very neat. As of course we're at home for the first game, even though Derek Ray and Lee Dixon are coming along to League on with us. I wish they wouldn't have done. Feel sorry for the commentary duo, of course, getting the job with FIFA. Everyone hates them now, or with EA as there's the officials, there's the other team. It's the first game of the season at the Paris FC Stadium, which I'll have to learn the name of. Let's see their lineup. As these are very, very snazzy graphics. I'm liking these a lot. Possibly the best graphics I've seen in a FIFA or even in the leagues out of this FIFA because they only just really came in recently, didn't they? 
the uh, graphics. So let's have a look through the graphics. Saying that a lot. Uh, there, Tim. We've got Fabri in goal against us. It's a 4 5 1, really. Up here is Sandgate and Bone and Corviel with Shuster and Leroy. With Sunu, Grange, and Tormin with a merge up front. Hopefully, won't be merging in the goals. God, that were cringy, as of course, this is going to be a lot harder than the West Ham save. Going from like five or six 90 rated plays in a team to about 170 rated. I love the graphics in the top corner as well. They are very, very snazzy. As let's get this win. We're going to have to try and get used to the five at the back as well, which is a formation I've always wanted to try. As that's a bad ball out to Campanini. Goes out for their throw in as Sunu is going to throw it all the way back to a Apiri now. Just running them down, getting close to them as Grange has the ball in the middle. I'm pretty sure all these names have accents, but of course I'm not really great with those. As Merjit has the ball right now and Colin, Leo Colin with a great tackle. Got an English name, but he's of course French as baby has the ball right now. We've got Lara in front. He has got pace, 83 of it. As can we get that ball back to him? We've got the wing backs flooding up, even though they're not wing backs, they're still full backs. As Campanini running all the way, cuts back now in the middle. Lara across again into Mauku. This could be a big chance, and he's in the back of the net. It's Gapka, the central midfielder, number 10, who's got the goal in the 10th minute to make the scoreline 1 and 0. 10. What a goal to start this campaign off. I did not expect us to fly this high up. Start of the season as it's a 1-0 lead already in the first episode. What a strike from Gapka getting very forward into the box and leading in this big game for Paris FC. Big goal that one. Big, big goal as now Leroy passes it on to Grange. I think that's how you say it as we're going to try and get a tackling right here. Missed it as Sunu gets it back onto a Perry, the fullback again as they're going to try and sneak forward a bit more now. I think it's Chaparou, is it the team? I don't know how you pronounce it. Chaparou. As they're coming out, as still right here, Leroy onto Shuster. Now across to Merge it as he gives it backwards. A lot of good passing. Can't get the ball, but I'm guessing with our wing backs, we do like this counter attacking play, as the team has proven to me so far. As Demacone has it in goal. Of course, a keeper that I don't see staying for the entirety of the save. Well, definitely not. Maybe not even a season. As that's a poor pass from the goal scorer, Gapka. They've got the ball again, but Name picks up on this one as he's got a chance to run. Gives it into Lara. I'm guessing his name's pronounced Name as well. As we've got it onto Baby. That's definitely not how his name's pronounced, but he can back heal it right here, and it's a poor one. You can just see the intensity is way, way lower than the recent saves we've done. Probably on par with Grimsby, but definitely not West Ham, Arsenal, and Borussia Dortmund. As now Name has the ball again into Gapka. Around the corner. Debe be with it. Can he try and find a pass around this corner again? No, he can't. As Grange has a pass on right now. And oh my days, Chatero with a chance right here. They've took a step to the side and it's a very poor shot half an hour in. That could have actually been a chance for them as Campanini with a terrible touch as well onto Sunu. Sunu straight rounders onto Merji and Bamba does receive the ball for Demacone. Just shadows his man away as that's a poor throw in again and Chatero actually all over us at the moment. So that's a good pass through as well. Bamba reads it. Very, very happy with that 1-0 lead. We've had literally one shot all game as now it's through the middle again onto Diaby. I call him Diaby instead of Debaby. I think that's nice as he's now onto Name again. We've got his wing back flooding forward. Campanini does get it onside as well. We need runners into the middle. We've got the man in the middle in Lara. Good touch. Good strike. Oh, and he's blocked. It's all over the place. As Fabri even gets it with his feet in the end. Big chance. Big, big chance to make it to us now. Manduki has the ball again. Steps backwards. Can we get a run around as we can? Onto Campanini. Flicks it on again. Manduki. Can he try and find a pass? He's going to step it back again and give it into Gapka. Gapka around the side into Diaby again. As Diaby just trying to find a way through. Maduki. We've got his wing back out there. We've got men in the box at the back post. That's a decent ball, but offside just before half time. And I think that's going to do it. It should be 1 0 at the break. That should definitely do it. Fabri with the whipped ball upfield. We don't win the header. But there we have it. Half time, 1 0 to us. And it can't possibly get him be any better apart from of course if we would have scored that chance but I'll take it 1-0 at the break as now Mergy with the ball right here he goes backwards into Schuster as Mancudi gets the ball away Mancudi is his name I think it is actually as he's running with it right here Diaby get through that gap mate there we go he's through the gap a little bit man on his back still as he's going to pull the ball back Still with the ball, the number nine. And can we get it out wide? We can. On to Name. As he's got the right back going around him. He's around him right here. We've got a chance to cross it in. Can we get another goal here? Back post. Free header. 
But it's over the bar. Captain actually with a big chance right there as Manduki gets this ball down as well. On to Kagapka. Now on to Hanin. Bamba with a switch out to the uh, right centre back, which will do. I mean, we've been pretty decent defensively. They've had like one chance through straight at Demikone as they've got the ball back again on Sunu's feet. As now it's on to Grange and we've lost the ball once more. Now we're into the game now, so we don't want to let them go more attacking and get something back as Kante reads that one. Great work from Kante as he's going to give it out to Campanini. Good little knee on that one as he gives it into Name now. And we're going to try and go again. But that's a terrible pass. And it could be costly. It's straight through the middle. And Demacone hasn't got there quick enough. It's Mergi who levels it up for Shatero. As it's a terrible, terrible mistake in the middle of the park that leads to the goal. All square at our home park. As that is a great ball through the middle. Look at that. Terrible, terrible pass. Great ball. And Demacone, 37 years of age. Hasn't got the pace to get off his line quick enough. We now are level. And it could even be more. Because look how attacking they've gone. They've won the ball straight away after us. And Merge's made it 2-1. We are straight behind in this one. Arab's going to come off the bench for Gapka. But it's 2-1 to Chateau. And they've just turned it completely on its head. What's going on, boys? What is going on? It's a poor header away. I didn't even realise it was that bad. That way it was, and the goalkeeper's absolutely shocking as well. New keeper needed, possibly. Not a great start to the save, as now Manduki with the ball straight away. He's going to try and dribble at them a little bit, give it in the middle now. Yes, on to Diabi, as Arab can't turn out with it as well, and we are just going to struggle for 70 minutes, or 20 minutes straight, should I say. As now Mergi on a hat-trick, of course. Now their lone striker, good tackle that time by Kante, as we need to get forward now. Our uh, five at the back need to attack as now it's into Diaby. Has he got the ball? He has. Out to Arab. And where is my left back? Where is my left back? You're too late, Hanin. We have to be a bit quicker as now Manduki into Name. Through the middle again. Great pass. Diaby making the move as he's going to get on this ball right now. The number nine has got men in the middle, but he's going to keep on going. Can he pull it to the edge? He can. Into Arab. The youth player gets his shot off, but still blocked. We're on it though, first of all. We're straight back onto this ball as we want this next goal. We need it. We can't be actually drawing this game as Arab almost got that ball as well. The way his feet went and the animation, it looked like he was actually picking up on it. As that's a terrible ball out from the back as well. Headed. Oh, Campanini's got to get there first and does, but he's just bloody slipped up and Shuster to pass it down the line. As now Sonu with the ball and time is ticking away. Time is really ticking away as that's a ball through the middle as well. Is he onside? Sadiba is onside. What a tackle from Bamba though. And he's left us with two minutes to get a goal back. What a interception as now Lara can't slide on that properly. Of course the striker now on the wing as we're going to try and whip some balls into the box. If we could have got it out wide as Granger has the ball again for Chateau. Get a tackle in boys. We've got one minute added on and that is not much at all to get a goal as Shuster going backwards. The minute is over and I think we've lost the game. Merger with it. He skilled us on a little bit there and he's actually found a little bit of a gap. It could be 3-1, you know. And is. It sunk into the top corner the way we scored our goal. And we're going to lose the first game of the season. And that is kind of on me as well. Not just the gameplay, but the fatigue of the team. I didn't realise how close the season was after pre-season. And of course, we've lost the game now. First game of the season going against us at home. And it just proves we've got a lot of work to do. A lot of signings you guys can suggest, and I'm pretty bummed I didn't sign Mergy from Chateau. It's a poor start for the Paris FC fans, but we will be back. We will bounce back after that. It's only one game with a team I've never played with before. It was 50-50 on the possession, and most of the stats as we're rock bottom of the league as well. That is not a good start, and we've got um, Ajaiko, is it? I think that's the name of their team. Straight after, don't say they won. They didn't, they drew. Ajaiko, yes as we will have to play the next episode. But of course, the most important thing, apart from like, comment, and share in, and subscribe into the channel at the moment with the notification bell on as well, is getting some suggestions for players down below. Preferably French, of course, because they would want to stay in France or come back to France. As unfortunately, guys, this is the end of the episode. I've said all the things I need to say, so hopefully you guys enjoy these saves. I've just knocked my microphone over as well. Take care in a bit, and long live Paris FC. Peace.